Good afternoon. As the guy in the video, as the guy in the video just said, great nations don't automatically last forever. Writing about Rome, historian Will Durant said, a great civilization is not conquered from without until it has first destroyed itself from within. Great civilizations that have collapsed or been conquered by a foreign adversary were first hollowed out from the inside. You know, we Americans are the most spoiled people on earth. We've been given such a great heritage and we take it for granted. The founding fathers of our country, men like George Washington, Thomas Jefferson, James Madison, men who are now considered to be evil racists, according to the top scholars in America's most elite universities, these men set us on a course for success the world has never seen before. We sur absolutely right. You know, we survived the War of 1812, the Civil War, World War I and World War II, Korea, Vietnam, and the Cold War. But today we face the greatest danger we have ever faced. The militant left wing in our country has become the enemy within. Now you may think, whoa, Rick, that's pretty dramatic. You're calling them the enemy within. Yes, I am, and here's why. Let's do a quick situation report. The militant left has now seized control of our economy, our culture, and our country. When you turn on the news at night, do you recognize the country you see? No. Are you worried for your family? Are you worried for your freedoms? The woke left now controls the Democrat Party, the entire federal government, the news media, academia, big tech, Hollywood, most corporate boardrooms, and now even some of our top military leaders. They're working to redefine America, silence their opponents, and that means you. They're destroying just about everything they touch, and they've got their hands on everything. Here's what they're trying to destroy. American history, patriotism, border security, gender, traditional morality, capitalism, fiscal responsibility, opportunity, rugged individualism, Judeo-Christian values, free speech, law enforcement, religious liberty, parental involvement in schools, and even private ownership of firearms. The woke left wants all of that gone. They want to end the American experiment. They want to replace freedom with control. The elites and the government are telling us what we can and cannot believe, what we can think, and what we can do. They absolutely want to control our lives. Woke government-run schools, woke government-run healthcare, woke government-run media, woke government-run everything. In their new socialist America, everyone will obey and no one will be allowed to complain. If you do speak up, boom, you will be canceled. Your views, if they don't conform to Big Tech, Fauci, or Neil Young, you know you're going to be kicked off of Spotify, YouTube, Facebook, and Twitter. The militant left are the modern-day version of book burners. Yeah. Canceling, silence, and banning from the internet is book burning. 
These are the most narrow-minded, intolerant people our country has ever seen. And they are remarkably ignorant of both world history and American history. Socialism leads to two things, poverty and oppression. We know because socialism is not some new idea. It's one of the dumbest, oldest, and most discredited ideas of the 20th century. <clears throat> and let's remember, it resulted in 100 million deaths in the last century. Yet these Democrats, who have no idea how the real world works, are just acting like they just invented socialism. The, 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 the modern wacky left Democrat has never read George Orwell. They don't know they're making his predictions come true. Let me be clear here. What the militant left is now proposing is not simply wrong. It is evil, and it always results in evil. Now, the Biden presidency has brought us one new thing. They have successfully merged radical left-wing policies and gross incompetence. And it's, it's hurting people. It's hurting families with high inflation, empty shelves, dangerous invasion of our border, drugs and criminals marching in every day, escalating spending and debt, the inept withdrawal from Afghanistan, left-wing indoctrination of children in public schools, and murder in our communities. Criminals are not being prosecuted, but police are being executed. All this makes you ask, is this the beginning of the end of America? Well, it could be, but only if we allow it. Now, here's the good news. The backlash is coming. The opposition is building. Americans in flyover country have had enough of this woke, elitist nonsense. We want our freedom back. It is time to rescue this country. And as the old saying goes, don't wait for instructions from headquarters. Just mount up and ride to the sound of the guns. It's time to take our country back. And I'm here to tell you, the American people are going to give a complete butt-kicking to the Democrats this November. But after we win, then what? That's what I came here to talk about. If the Republicans return to Washington's business as usual, if we have no bigger plan than to be a speed bump on the road to America's collapse, we actually don't deserve to govern. In Washington, we need new majorities in the House and the Senate and we need a new plan. This week, I released an 11 points plan to rescue America. It's got 128 specific policy ideas. I'm a business guy. I believe the hour is late in this country, and we simply have to have a plan. We can't just do our best and hope for the best. To actually turn something around, you make a plan, you make big changes, and you do it today. You can go to rescueamerica.com and you can read the entire plan. But let me give you a few points. The plan calls for every child in every school to say the Pledge of Allegiance Stand for the national anthem and learn that America is the greatest country in this world.
The plan calls for a complete end to racial politics. We're going we're gonna to stop the government from asking anyone what their race or skin color is on any government form. Each of us is made in the image of God to judge a person on the color of their skin is absolutely immoral. The, the plan says we will treat socialism as a foreign adversary and will use all forces to stop it from destroying this great country. The plan calls for the end to, an e to our economic relationship with communist China. We must extract ourselves from dependence on communist China and stop buying anything from communist China. It's pretty simple. They want to destroy us, and we cannot rely on them for anything. Not pharmaceuticals, computer chips, TVs, clothing, cheap toys, any of their crap. Now, here's one that's going to make me a little less popular in Washington. The plan calls for term limits. but not just for politicians, but also for government bureaucrats. We have to eliminate the permanent ruling class in Washington that thinks our government belongs to them. The plan also makes some terribly controversial points, such as men are men, Women are women. There are two genders. The science confirms that unborn babies are human beings. The plan calls for a complete end to voter fraud and for protecting the integrity of every election in this country. Now, now, you know, Democrats know they can't win with their crazy, woke ideas, so they want to rig elections, institutionalize voter fraud, and we will never allow it. We must declare an end to the foolish, soft-on-crime policies that are destroying our cities and killing innocent Americans. These prosecutors who have failed to prosecute criminals, they're going to be fired. We are going to fully fund the police and teach our kids to respect police because they're the good guys, the criminals are the bad guys. <laughs> Finally, nations have borders. We will secure our border. We'll build the damn wall, and when we do, we'll name it after President Donald J. Trump.
You all know what the critics in Washington will say about this plan to rescue America. The Democrats will say, I'm not woke and I'm not serious. They'll say I'm racist in some way or the other because that's what they do if they disagree with you all with anything. Now, the Washington insiders, the woke media, and the socialist squad will roll their eyes the way they always do when anyone reminds them that America is a great country full of great people and we will not be stopped. They're going to tell us how our plan won't work and nothing will change. Washington is full of do-nothing people who believe that no conservative change can ever happen. Nothing will change for the better as long as they're in charge, and that's why we're going to get rid of them. Now, some Republicans are also going to complain about our plan, and they'll do it with anonymous quotes. They'll argue that Democrats will use it against us in the election. I hope they do, because my response is, bring it on. We have no fear for standing up for what is right to rescue this country. That's the kind of old thinking that got us where we are today, where we don't control anything in Washington the House, the Senate, or the White House. It's time we get serious. It's time to have a plan. It's time to execute a plan. We are going to win this fight. Freedom is worth fighting for. America is worth fighting for. Now, I hope you will download and read the plan. There might be things in there you don't agree with, that's okay. There are certainly things that are going to be added, which we're going to do. But this is not the time to be timid. This is the time to be bold. Our nation's future can be bright, but we need a plan to take this country back. I warn you before you read it, though, this is plan is not for the faint of heart. It will trigger a lot of people. It's going to be ridiculed by the left, mocked by Washington insiders, and strike fear in the heart of some Republicans. If this plan doesn't scare Washington, we certainly have an anti enough. And based on the way Democrats are attacking me this week, I say we hit, I say we hit the bullseye. The fight to rescue American socialism is our fight. The fight for freedom is a fight of our lifetime. We will not be controlled by the Democrats, by government, by the elites, or by anybody. We must and we will prevail. Thank you.